Hello everybody. I hope you just got done watching the unboxing video of my Passau goalie pads. Now I'll be doing a three part series of the leg pads, the goalie pads, and the goalie blocker. So I've had a few games in them now and I'll let you guys know my experiences and what I liked about them and what I didn't like about them. So stay tuned. So the first part of this three-part series that I'm doing is the goalie pad, leg pad review. So let's just basically start from the bottom and work ourselves up to the top and see what these pads are all about and all of the problems I've had. And well, I didn't really have too many problems with them. I just had to get used to them. They are an inch bigger than the last ones that I had. So the pads would crisscross a lot and I'd kind of stumble over them a little bit. I definitely had to get used to the strapping system here. So. If we start with the strapping system down at the toe, you'll notice that we have these elastic toe ties. And basically those, uh, in my opinion, I feel like they work a lot better than the string toe ties I had because these are a lot more flexible now. I did wear the string ones loose uh, at the top or the toe here, but even with these elastics, you'll definitely get to see how um, your skate blade comes in direct contact with the ice as the pad is still sitting low to, to the ice. So to explain that, I have my goalie skate. Uh, it's the right foot, but still. So now I have the goalie skate into the pad real quick so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. With this elastic toe, you're able to move your foot down to the ice and that allows you to get quicker side to side movement because the, normally if it, if it was really tight, you'd have to wait until your skate is in this position because the leg pad is still contacting the ice. So with that extra flexibility, the leg pad can be started down a little bit sooner and you'll still be able to push left and right a lot faster. So I definitely do like those toe ties a little bit better. So I've had good experience with the toe ties so far. And then here you have screws, and this one seemed to be a little bit loose. I've used this, this for about three games, so I'm kind of surprised that that's already getting a little bit loose. I'll go ahead and tighten that up later, but you can see that these are, this is held on by two screws and there's nothing here. So I'm not sure exactly how they did that in there, but I think it's a lot better designed than the other ones that I had where the screw went through the whole thing. Um, they would scratch up my skates, as you can tell, this scratch is all up there because of my old goalie pads that had the screw threads scratching them constantly. Here you have the boot strap and it does look like it's removable. It's just going to take some effort to pull it through this other leather loop. Um, but if you don't like it, you can remove it. Um, but I tend to use it just for extra stability and it works for me. For the leg pads, uh, strapping here with the calf, I've tried it a few times with them kind of tight and kind of loose. And what I like is a little bit in the middle. I don't like it super uh, tight on my leg. Uh, if it's a little bit loose, you can uh, kind of absorb the rebound a little bit better. We open them up. You can see the leg channel. You got the Clarino all the way running through the whole leg there. Also, the pads are very comfortable. This Clarino leather is very soft and smooth. Bucker that back up. Here you have some extra padding between your sliding surface and the inside of your calf. It's all Velcroed in there. If you ever need to take them out or adjust them, it's possible to do so. I haven't had any issues on the ice with this system or the setup. Everything feels pretty good there. This is the sliding surface and from my experience, uh, at the very beginning, it was sticking to the ice. I don't know if it was just because they're new or if they're warm, but I have a clip of that. And throughout this video, I'll be putting clips of my 
games that I've been having so far and they are just pickup games. So uh, nothing too serious, just perfect time just to break in hockey pads. But when I was putting the goalpost in to the ice, as soon as I was down on the ice, I noticed it was like stuck. I didn't know if it was because the there was still water on the ice in the goal crease or what. Um, but then you saw me like moving my legs and they kind of freed up a little bit. Uh, after that, I think, you know, after kind of the surface got cooled a little bit, uh, they started sliding a little bit better. But they don't slide as fast or as smooth as my other ones that I have, which are right here. Because this, uh, once I put this vinyl wrap here, uh, I slide super fast, super quick and effortless, effortlessly. So it'll take some time, I think, to get used to this sliding surface. And I did order some sliding polish that has come in the, they, they shipped them, but it should arrive on Tuesday. So it's taken about a week for them to get here. I'll put the sliding polish on here and I'll make a video for that and we'll see what the experience is like afterwards. So I did multiple slides in these, trying to get used to going up and down. There was times where I would uh, slide and then get up real quick and almost kind of lose my balance or something. And that was just due to me not getting used to the, uh, the stiffer top part of the pads and they're a little bit longer or taller than my other pads. So they would kind of crisscross and uh, I still need to get used to them a little bit in that regard. But the sliding is starting to get a little bit better and easier in these. I think it's also because of me loosening up the straps here around my boot. Okay, the next part of the pads looks like the uh, professor strap. The professor strap I did wear kind of snug the first time and I realized that was a bad idea for my game because if the professor strap is tight then since th due to the curvature here it was pushing on my hockey pants and then kind of making it like a weird tight feeling and I couldn't I wasn't so mobile so once I re loosened up the strap in the next game which I basically match the uh, Velcro here to the Velcro st starts here. And I found out it's like the perfect looseness for me. It's been comfortable, this leather's fine. I haven't had anything like digging into my leg or rubbing unnecessarily. So once that's a little bit looser, then the pad feels a little bit more comfortable when, I stand when I'm standing straight up. You guys do see a new modification to my pads. Uh, if you saw my unboxing video, I told you about these thigh guards that I used on my other pads and they really do help with the five hole coverage that, uh, you know, they help close, they help block the five hole pretty good. And if you notice this chamfer here, there's also a uh, matching chamfer on the other side. So they say that that is supposed to also help with your five hole closure, that angle there. And so far I haven't had too many goals go through the five hole. I actually feel like I've stopped a couple more with these pads than with my old other pads. Um, what's next here? So you have the knee block, which I also opened up and looked at in the unboxing video. But here you can take out this hard pad if you want. Everything's Velcroed in there. You could open up these Velcro pads on the leg chant. The, yeah, right here. You can open up these Velcros here and slide up or down this knee guard or this knee block if you want uh, according to your own kind of customizations. I slid it down slightly towards the bottom just because my knee's been hitting right here. You can kind of maybe see some of that uh, wear inside there already. And then I go ahead and strap it down here uh, in this location versus around the knee here. Basically that helps me uh, when I'm in the down position, when I'm on my knees, my thigh is coming up here and uh, having the strap here would definitely uh, be annoying and rub up against my leg uh, annoyingly. So if we look at the uh, surface of the pad, everything is sealed to the ice nice here on the bottom. Um, you got pretty hard surface here. Uh, you don't get so much flexibility or absorption there. So Passau embroiders their logo right here on the outer roll and it looks like it's pretty good quality. I haven't seen any rips yet or any issues there. 
I think it's just a, a nice touch, a nice design there. They also go ahead and embroider the Wolf logo here on the outside. And then the custom, the free customization of your last name goes there. The design, the quality and everything so far is super good. The flexibility after three games has still stayed pretty much the same, pretty solid. I do like them a little bit stiff like that, but they are flexible enough to uh, crouch down, move left and right and get up and down. So this triangle outer roll, it's something new I've tried. I used to have the square outer rolls and I thought about trying this and thinking that, you know, it would actually help the puck from maybe going over. But uh, the last game I just played, I have a video clip of this as well, um, where I made a leg save, but the puck was right here or so. And even when I tried to extend my glove, it, I mean, it went between the glove and the, the outer roll here and still went in the net. So you can tell that it actually deflected up off of this outer roll because the puck ended up higher behind me in the net versus lower in the net. So I don't know what I think about it yet. Hopefully that was just a fluke. Um, and you know, maybe if the puck was a little bit of a harder shot, it would have just deflected up and over the goal or at least up and into my glove. But it did deflect off of the outer roll and into the goal. So all of the stitching on here has been held holding pretty good. I do like how everything is like on the inside. As far as the stitching goes, all the binding is on the inside of the goalie pad. Um, like helps with the surface here. Also when making a few saves around the post, when I wanted to go down quickly, uh, they kind of were caught. So I had one pad that was up and the left one was a little bit down. So I'll, um, but it was still okay because the puck would just hit, hit it did hit the face and it deflected out. So um, I was still able to like kind of get them close enough together to make a save. But the issue was that I still need to get used to uh, the little bit in, taller pads here and uh, get them out of the way when I go up and down. And these pads are about 5.1 pounds, 2.3 kilograms. And the lightness you definitely can feel on your leg. I mean, you really have a lot of quickness in your legs going left and right, kicking pucks out and um, going up and down with them. So I do like that they're a lot more lightweight than my other pads. I mean, just holding it with, with one hand, I mean, you can uh, easily manipulate it with your wrist so you know it's pretty light. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a few of the saves that I've been making. This is just the warm ups. I'm just showing you some of the deflections straight into the boards into the corner so the leg pads have some good thunk to them and then here coming up I've got a breakaway leg save I was able to get the pad down on the ice follow the shooter seal off the, the ice here I have a deflection off my leg pad but it went straight back to the player and they were able to still shoot it into the net here's another breakaway leg save I was able to cover that one though it was, yeah, I had some good slide there at least. Here's a uncontrollable deflection. So the guy shoots it off my left leg. I was able to pop it up in the air with the leg pad. And then here I was sliding to the left and able to quickly throw out the right leg to save it. Here's some more warm up deflections from the legs. And then here's uh, just to show you some sliding, following the puck, getting in the RVH there. Um, being able to slide left and right following the play. Here we've got uh, an issue where I slid too far to the left and the guy was able to shoot it between my hip and arm. Here, got three saves in a row, able to move, be really mobile and get the uh, desperate saves. So overall, I do like these goalie pads. Everything about them I like. I don't know if there's anything I dislike other than maybe um, second guessing having that triangular outer roll, but maybe, you know, it's a good uh, thing to have just to uh, lighten the weight a little bit by getting rid of some extra material. Something I dislike about it is maybe some of the uh, customization that you could personally do or personal customization, like having a, a tab here to add the thigh guard, but I was still able to just tie them on into this uh, nylon here on both sides. And so far that's held on pretty strong and sturdy. Haven't had any issues with that. These pads could use a little bit more 
slicker surface here for sliding. But overall, I do like the pads, everything about them. I think it was a good deal and a good decision on these pads. I have no regrets about them. So there you have it, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments about these pads, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to give you an answer.